What's up YouTube? Ian Sandusky back here again for Let's Machine. Today we're going to be reviewing one of my favorite CNC tools I use on a daily basis and that is the Mastercut Drill Mill. Um, these are very similar to a chamfer mill, essentially it is a chamfer mill. Pricing is good on them I find. Um, again, I don't know where you are in the world, you may not have access to these, you may have something better, you may have something cheaper. This is just a tool that I use and uh, yeah, I'll show you some of its features and how it works. At the end I'll tell you what I think about it, alright? Let's go take a look. So this is what we have, we have our master cut quarter inch, two flute, 90 degree drill mill power A. I don't really know what that power A means, but you can see right there if you choose to order these at the end. There's the part code. So this is how they come. These are coated carbide. I quite enjoy them. So you can see here if I can get it to focus, there it is. These are essentially a two flute end mill, just like any other. But you can see at the end here, it comes to a 45 degree, come on camera, point. Now the advantage of that 45 degree point is I can run that around the same tool pass that I had at the end of my program and it will chamfer that on a 45 quite well. Now the way I program these is at the end of my program I take my contours and I program this on the same chains. Since this is a quarter inch end mill that means each side here has about one eighth of cut should be one eighth, but it might be a little more, it might be a little less. What I'll do is I'll program this as, you know, say a 132nd end mill and just wear offset it a little bit out. So instead of, instead of going right on the edge of the part or right on the tip, it's going to go right on that nice 45. Um, works pretty well, you know, you'll have to play around with it to see what works. You can always program it as a chamfer mill if whatever software you're using has it as a chamfer mill. Um, I use Mastercam, it has the chamfer program. I've never used it. I always just use uh, do it the way I've been doing it for years. But yeah, so that's how it looks when it comes into the box. Um, these obviously go inside an ER40 holder inside my machines. Uh, you know, if you have a different machine, you have a different holder, whatever. But I'll show you how these things work. Let's go take a look at it in the machine. is our master cut 90 degree drill mill power aid. Um, you can get these anywhere between 1 8 to I believe 5 8 in diameter. They may go bigger, may go smaller. That's the only range I've ever used. Um, typically I use quarter inch. They tend to work the best for the price for the length of time you get out of them. Also I don't do chamfers much deeper than uh, 1 8 typically so you know I can get that out of it. Um, these work really well. The one thing you do have to watch out for is if you're running them constantly at the same depth and the same offset, so you're constantly hitting the same part of the tool, it will burn out and it will start kicking a burr. Uh, the way you get around that is to program it as a different size, wear offset it, and drop it. So instead of using this part, you're using this part. Um, you know, you can get a lot of life out of them. And then when they're done, you can use the tip as an engraving tool. I do that all the time. Um, if you use these before, make sure you tell me in the comments below what you think of them. I really enjoy them. Uh, I think they're great for the price. You know, I don't get paid to review these things. I don't even get free tooling out of it. Uh, this is just a tool I use on a daily basis. Uh, if you have any tools that you want me to take a look at, feel free to let me know. Um, if you have any tools you'd like to recommend to me, please let me know in the comments below, okay? Thanks again for hanging out with me, guys. Always appreciate you coming by. Make sure you like and subscribe below if you want to see more videos. You take care.